explosive. Powerful politician reveals what will happen. The day Tunubu will be sworn in as president elect. One Nigerians to be ready. Okay. Um, you see, a lot of people have been warning Nigerians, both home and abroad, of what we should be expecting. Yes, since we said we want Tunubu as president. So they are now telling us, okay, tighten up your seat belt. <laughs> These people know be, they don't be human being. All right, uh, this man actually knows Tunubu to the latter. He knows him to the latter, and um, he has given us a tip of what we should be expecting, be it good or bad. But he said, "Be ready." Let's check the content. This is morning news. As thoughts and predictions have continued to surface, the situation surrounding. The February 25th presidential election is progressively developing more exciting happenings. Shago Shomi, a PDP faction candidate for governor in Ogu State, has demanded that the election petition filed by the Labour Party's presidential candidate against the newly elected President Bola Ahmed Tunubu be quickly resolved before the swearing in ceremony on May 29th. Mr. Shomi firmly asserted that if these election tribunal issues are not settled before May 29th, that day will be remembered as a day of grief. A live interview on a media has revealed this very fact. The PDP chieftain cautioned that Nigerians shouldn't be left in a mess by the current president. Muhammad Buhari. He claims that one should be concerned about how Nigeria is being governed in the post Buhari period. He stated that the tribunal had all the time in the world to read and hurry up a bit. When referring to the judiciary, the country needs a breath of fresh air. People are kneeling on our necks. He claimed that since the elections had been brought before the court, it was appropriate for the court to resolve the controversy surrounding the elections conduct, which was allegedly tainted by electoral malpractice. Additionally, he countered the widely held belief that the court lacks credibility to render a fair decision in this case. He contends that the judge will be impartial if the petitioner can make a compelling argument in court. Okay. Um, I want to agree with this man. I want to agree with him to an extent. Let us be sure. It is good that the court concludes whatever is the differences that has existed uh, between Peter Obi and uh, Tunubu because of the uh, 2023 election. So that on the day of the swearing in, there will not be what? Grief. So that everybody with one mind will celebrate uh, the president elect. You understand? Yes. So everybody will celebrate the president elect and, um, and um, give him that support as he will be asking. On the day he will be giving his speech. Abi, that's it. So I think I will be. I I I, I agree with this very um, opinion because that is what's supposed to happen. Um, this case is staying longer, and I don't think the court is actually uh, hurrying to um, to conclude it. Conclude it. I don't know. Or maybe it's because of the um, other uh, uh, facts and figures that are just tripping into the court to expose either Peter Obi or Tunubu. I don't really know. But one thing I know for sure is that the opinion of this young man is very much carried. 
Do you understand? And that's just it. So, my people, my people, based on this very reality and fact that has just been revealed, what is your take? What's your advice and what's your opinion? Don't forget your comments. They are still very much of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.